Everyone's excited to be back. Loving seeing all these people out here and having a good time. Every Friday night on the eve of home football games, Florida State's College Town hosts a block party. The event offers food, drinks, games, and live music. Intern Kenley Nelson discusses how the day of the event takes place. We basically spend the whole day down in College Town. We're setting up, we set up the stage, we set up the barricades. Um, by the time the artists roll in, we're starting to do their sound checks. Um, and I also communicate between the artist management as well as FSU College Town, um, making sure that their demands are met and that we have everyone in the same kind of circle. I think it's really become a big part of the game weekend and, and people really enjoy coming and enjoy seeing the people come out. And um, I think people come sometimes for the concert as much as they do for the games. The block party was unable to host any events last year due to COVID-19, but bringing it back this season has brought a whirlwind of excitement for everyone here at Florida State. It was different. It was the first time in, in nine years that we haven't done something on a Friday night before a football game, so it felt a little strange. This year it was great getting back into it and doing it again. It felt very common to give the fans something to be excited about on a Friday night. The past two concerts that we've had have brought this whole, I guess, generation of new Florida State students who have never kind of experienced what a downtown get down was or a block party, so it's really exciting to kind of have that atmosphere again. Definitely, I always love the concerts every year. Make sure I come out here every single Friday and try to uh, listen to new music and also some old music as well. With the energy levels high here in College Town, students and alumni have the opportunity to see a live performance each week from new and upcoming artists. The team books these artists out months in advance, and many of them have never even stepped foot here in College Town. So we start looking for who we're going to select as our artists back in January of, of every year. So we always try to find someone that's emerging that has not necessarily reached stardom yet, but by the time they get to us in September or October, they are on the brink of becoming a star. So my favorite performance in the past was back in 2019 when we had Hardy. Um, he's one of my favorite artists now, so it was super exciting to see him before he blew up. Favorite performer, there's many to choose from there, but probably Florida Georgia Line. They, they were probably the one who came who we nailed it exactly the way we want, where they come, no one knew exactly when we hired them, but when they got here, their song went number one the night they were on our stage, and the, the rest is history. Oh yeah, went to Hardy two years ago, and then Morgan Wallen was another big one. The energy is awesome. We do the war chant every week, the marching chiefs come out, as well as um, FSU cheerleading and the Golden Girls. So we kind of make sure that we always get the Florida State vibe going and that we are excited Seminoles and we cheer on those Noles for the next day. The past decade of the block party has been a huge success. But without the support of this entire events team and the fans each week, it would never be the same. I'm Olivia Ellis, reporting.